What is mutation testing? Have you seen the new CLI tool for Playwright Test? And how do you make your own AI test agent? Find out on this episode of the Test Guild News Show for the week of February 16th. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. Hey, before we get into the news, I want to thank this week's sponsor, ZapTest AI, an AI-driven platform that can help you supercharge your automation efforts. It's really cool because their intelligent co-pilot generates optimized code snippets, while their planned studio can help you effortlessly streamline your test case management. And what's even better is you can experience the power of AI in action with their risk-free six-month proof of concept, featuring a dedicated Zap expert at no upfront costs. Unlock unparalleled efficiency and ROI in your testing process. Don't wait. Schedule your demo now and see how it can help you improve your test automation efforts using the link down below. All right, it's been a crazy few weeks. I've been working on Automation Guild that just ended last week, and we had a blast. And I'm happy to report our ninth annual event was a huge success. And a lot of attendees told me it was one of the best events for Automation Guild ever. But if you missed it, I just want to let you know that we're now offering on-demand recordings for the full event. So you get instant access to all the recordings of the event that took place last week, as well as access to our year-long community where you'll receive one new trading a month on a topic the Guild chooses. So don't miss it again. Use the link down below. Hope to see you in the community. So one of the main topics at this year's Automation Guild was Playwright. So I found an article that helps explain how to generate a front-end test automation framework with Playwright and JavaScript. And this is from Jay, and he talks about using an AI search agent called Bolt, which I've never heard of before. And apparently Bolt New AI was developed by the Stack Blitz team. It's a real powerful AI tool designed to streamline web development by automating code generation. And Jay shows how this AI-powered tool helps you generate, test, and deploy web apps that use modding frameworks. And he has a step-by-step -step guide along with screenshots and how to do this. So definitely a worthwhile read to check out using the link down below. So on LinkedIn, I came across another article that caught my attention all about mutation testing. What is it? Well, let's check it out. And it goes over how mutation testing is a method that's used to evaluate the effectiveness of software tests by introducing small changes or mutations into the code to ensure tests can detect faults. It also emphasized that this approach helps reveal inadequacies in existing test suites, make it a crucial component in the development process. It also outlines the benefit of mutation testing, primarily its ability to enhance test coverage and identify gaps that traditional test methods might overlook. And this technique really challenges the robustness of test cases, pushing developers and testers towards creating a more resilient and comprehensive test strategy. The report also underscores the importance of integrating mutation testing into the software development lifecycle, suggesting that its adoption can lead to the development of more reliable and error-free software products. And despite the computational resources it requires, this testing method is presented as a valuable tool for software testers aiming to evaluate the precision of their testing outcomes. So I think software testers should definitely consider trying to incorporate mutation testing into their quality assurance processes to identify potential weaknesses in their existing test suites and enhance the overall code quality. Really a cool technique. If you haven't checked it out yet, definitely check it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, in other news in Playwright, I came across a new CI tool that's used to enhance your Playwright test execution. Let's check it out. And this is by Dennis, a software quality engineer in Cypress Ambassador, and he's been creating a whole bunch of awesome free resources that are open source. He's just developed a new one called Playwright CLI Select. It's a command line utility aimed at improving test execution for Playwright users. And if you go to GitHub, you can see that this tool introduces an interactive CLL prompt which enables testers select and run specific specs, tests, or tags directly from the terminal, thereby simplifying the management of extensive test suites. This utility also offers a customized Playwright test command, allowing users to pass desired arguments with tailored test runs. Also, it supports features like running the last failed tests and selecting only changed tests. This tool is available on GitHub now under the MIT license, providing an open source solution for the Playwright community. And if you're an existing Playwright user and you want to really learn how to streamline your testing process, I think it's a utility that could probably help you because you could do everything interactively from the command line, which I think makes everything a whole lot easier. And I just noticed that Judy Mosley just released a new article all about quality nonsense, analyzing a test suite using the home edit. So in this blog post, Judy really dissects common missteps when evaluating test processes and emphasizing the importance of a robust quality assurance framework. 
Key insights include identifying inefficiencies in traditional testing methods and stressing the necessity for adaptive, context-aware practices that align with project-specific demands. Among the critical discussions in this article, she goes over the misapplication of standardized metrics that often leads to false senses of security about software quality, and she also underscores the significance of integrating exploratory testing into the process to uncover hidden defects that structured tests might overlook. This article further suggests that an over-reliance on automated tests without thorough validation can result in overlooking critical bugs, ultimately undermining test reliability. So I think it's a good reminder for software testers that you really should focus on tailoring your test strategies to your unique project needs, incorporating both automated and exploratory testing techniques to really effectively identify and address defects. Definitely check it out using the link down below. So if you want to learn more about AI test agents, this news article is for you. This next one is by Deep Joyti, a chapter lead in testing, and he's unveiled Friday, which is an evolving open source project aimed at automating various aspects of software testing. The Friday leverages large language models such as OpenAI, Gemini, to generate test cases, thereby reducing the manual efforts traditionally required in test creation. And he lists out some of the key functionalities to Friday, including automated test case generation, API test agents, requirement extraction, contextual integration, document management, flexible export options, and web crawling for context. It's available on GitHub, and the project is effectively seeking feedback and contributions from the community to help refine and expand its capabilities. So Friday really offers a really integrated solution for automated test case generation and API testing, aiming to really enhance the accuracy in your software testing process. So definitely check it out, and definitely make sure to contribute and leave some feedback, because it really does help these open source initiatives. And speaking about AI and Playwright, I found a tool that might be right up your wheelhouse if that's what you're interested in. It's called PropWrite, which is an AI tool designed for browser automation. And it was created to use simple English instructions to automate workflows for effective testing. It features a user-friendly interface incorporating top AI providers and allows users to access powerful tools easily. This tool supports flexible browser execution, enabling in local or remote testing ink, and is compatible with Playwright, TypeScript, Python, and Cypress. And there's a video in here that actually demonstrates this through automation of login and contact creation using an AI-powered script. It gathers page information and executes workflows accurately, generating robust automation code and filling forms with relevant data. It also goes over how this tool provides and produces real-time TypeScript code for documentation and collaboration sharing making it easier for teams to integrate and utilize the generated scripts. And once again, according to the tool, it helps simplify browser automation for testing, making it accessible with just a few clicks to start a new task. And it's available once again on GitHub as a free open source solution. So you definitely should check it out. And like I said, the number one theme at this year's Automation Guild was all about Playwright. So I saw this article recently about Mabel that actually has an announcement about a new feature that they just rolled out and it's a new Playwright integration to streamline your workflows. So this new tool or integration is called Test Advantage, which integrates with popular development environments using seamless capabilities within DevOps practices. And one of the reasons why you wanna do this is testing teams can benefit from it. It's accelerated test execution times and increased support for cross-browser testing. Also, Test Advantage introduced AI-driven analytics to optimize test coverage, providing actionable insights for QA managers, links of everything of value we covered in this news episode. Hand it over to all those links in the comment down below. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe. My mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack pipeline automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers. Before we go, don't forget, if you want to modernize your testing, check out our sponsor ZapTest AI's AI-driven platform, that supercharges your automation efforts. Their intelligent co-pilot generates optimized code snippets while their planned studio streamlines test case management effortlessly. Experience the power of AI in action with their crazy risk-free six-month proof of concept featuring a dedicated Zap expert at no upfront costs. Support the show and check it out for yourself by going to testguild.me forward slash Zap Test News.